hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers viewers and the world out there today we're looking into virgos inside of their mind reading for the month of september in this message, Virgo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's mind. In this portion of the message, we'll look at what their perception of you is, what their perception of the challenge is, anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of, the true intentions moving forward, and the outcome if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Virgo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Virgo Spirit, what do my Virgo friends need to know? Virgo. Looks like your person has options here. A little bit of confusion, but I feel like they're going to be making a decision very soon. Okay. And I feel like this is in regards to this connection. This is in regards to you. The energy surrounding you this month, Virgo, is very independent, very stable, very secure. I feel like you're kind of focused on business, focused on work, focused on what you can manifest into your life. There's also probably something new that you've recently started that's taking up a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. The energy surrounding your person is the wheel, the knight of cups with the seven of cups. So there is some confusion, maybe even some options here with the seven of cups. But with the knight of cups present, this tells me that this person is about to make a decision. Now, the challenge here... I feel like there is a heavy focus on work and what I can say here, Virgo, maybe this is you, maybe this is your person, but somebody is emotionally withdrawn with the King of Cups energy. Now, before we dive any deeper into the message, let's clarify. If you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Nine of Coins, the Ace of Swords with the Magician. For Virgo's energy, what do my Virgo friends need to know in regards to the Nine of Coins? Please and thank you, Spirit. Now, what I sense is coming out here, Virgo, is this person is choosing you. And for some of you, maybe this is something that you've waited or anticipated for some time and it never took place. So you kind of just continue to do your own thing. Now they're coming towards you, Virgo. Now this person is coming towards you, okay? Ace of Swords energy here for Virgo Spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? At some, at one point, Virgo, you have may, you may have been keeping this person on the back burner, keeping them a secret with the Seven of Swords energy. And maybe this is somebody that you've met at work but I do feel like this is a connection. This is for a lot of you, a soul tie connection coming together. Okay. Again, this person has been taking their time in making a decision to come towards you, but it's almost as if they're finally choosing you Virgo. Let's clarify the wheel, the Knight of cups with the seven of cups energy. Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Energy. For Virgo Spirit, what do my Virgo friends need to know? For some time, maybe even up until this point, they were back and forth with what path they want to choose, maybe even what person they wanted to be with. This was causing them a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. 
what I will say here, Virgo, is they're choosing you, okay? They see you as their happy space, as their somebody who they can't live without. Clarify the Seven of Cups, please, and thank you for Virgo's person's energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Headed in a new direction and not looking back on the past, okay? What I will say with that Five of Pentacles energy is, Virgo, I feel like you anticipated that this person was going to walk away or that this wasn't going to work, and things took a turn, a different turn than what you expected. So let's clarify the challenge. The Eight of Coins, the King of Cups with the Seven of Coins. Okay. So one thing that I will say here, Virgo, is money may be an issue. There may be money problems. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is your person. I feel like this is something that is taking a toll. Okay. And this is something that they're be trying to be strategic about. You're trying to be strategic about conversation, communication, helping one another out through these challenges is what's going to be key. Let's clarify the seven of coins here for the challenge, Virgo. You may be thinking of this person as like a friends or a friends with benefits. I feel like this connection is a lot deeper than what you anticipate what I can say here. Your person is feeling the connection. You're feeling the connection, but maybe can't put your finger on it. I definitely feel like we are going to see some cards presented that there is an intense connection here. So let's dive a little bit deeper into your person's mind. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Let's look at your person's perception of you, Virgo, in this energy. Closed off isolating, spending a lot of time alone, up in the air about what it is that you truly want out of this connection, out of life. But I definitely feel here that there is a crossroad, okay? There's a decision that needs to be made. Whether this is you making the decision or your person making the decision, your person views you as closed off. So what's their perception of the challenge with Virgo? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay. So they may have felt like they had you competing for their time and attention while you were focused on work. They are understanding that this wasn't the greatest way to interact in a relationship. And maybe uncertain on how to fix it. I do feel like this person tries to exude control. So there's a need to set boundaries when it comes to that. So what's hidden for Virgo and this person? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, so the Two of Cups, the Magician, the King of Wands. It's a very passionate connection here. Again, that soul tie connection with the two of wands energy. But what I will say here, Virgo, is this is a person that you have waited for, anticipated, and maybe even overstepped boundaries when you maybe shouldn't have. Getting on the same page is going to be important, and it's going to be as equally as important to set those boundaries moving forward. I definitely feel like you're headed in a positive direction, but getting on the same page and staying on the same page is important here. This person's true intentions here, Virgo, is to help you through this process, okay? But what I feel like is coming out here is there is still some secrets that are being hidden, okay? There's still some things that are yet to be revealed. It's almost as if this person is afraid to let their guard down because of whatever has transpired in the past between you and them. Okay, so take your time. It's the outcome here if Virgo stays in this energy, please and thank you, Spirit.
the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Coins. Okay, the outcome here, if you stay in this energy, confusion, because I feel like there's a lack of boundaries and there needs to be boundaries set in order to move forward. Now, this is going to come together very slowly, but very surely. You have to know what it is that you want the outcome to be. How do you want this to play out? Do you envision this person being more than just friends? Or is this like a friends, a friends with benefits? And be honest with yourself, Virgo. Because I feel like it's almost as if you're manifesting the connection. Whatever it is you want, you're willing your way. So... Virgo advice guidance moving forward in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energy, see what comes out there. The next move, the lesson that's present, and the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended, and the links are all below. Virgo, Queen of Cups, World Energy with the Four of Cups. There's a need to take some time to contemplate how you align with this person emotionally. Is this a person you envision long term in your future? Or is this a person who is just a friends with benefits type of a scenario? I feel here for most of you, this is a person who you have an intense connection with. And trying to get on the same page hasn't been easy but it will be worth it so trusting that process here is important okay so virgo we have retreat we have chemistry and true love so this talks about getting away Taking some time away with one another, building up that chemistry within you, the chemistry with between one another, that bond, okay, and then true love. So what I sense here, Virgo, is this is a person who has been put on your path for a specific reason, and maybe there's been some resistance, but you guys still dealt with one another. This reading is talking about taking things to the next level or getting on the same page so you can take things to the next level. Take it as it resonates. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.